Okay, so something that I've been thinking about a lot lately is my place in the SMMA world, right? Because I've been focusing on my group uh, a lot lately and really focused on, on growing that and creating engagement and creating a place wherever I can hang out and really feel like they're getting value, I've been sort of doing research on the market, a little bit more on this like SMMA space market, because to be honest, I haven't really paid that much attention to it up until now. And I look at some of these guys that are super flashy, um, that are running ads and they're super flashy and selling a concept of a specific lifestyle and a specific outcome that SMMA can get you to. And then you have little old me over here that leads a relatively boring life, but has the same outcome, you know? I have a wife and kids, basically I just live a normal life, uh, except the only difference is we travel around full time um, and that's because of the agency. But relative to these guys in Dubai who are, who are balling and you know have the cars and the, the penthouses and stuff like that, it's not sexy. But me being the way I am, I sat down and I thought about it and I actually think I came across a little bit of a formula uh, for success and it's what the differential and point of difference is between those guys that sell this concept of the lifestyle and myself who's trying to achieve something completely different but through the same outcome if that makes sense so for those who don't know who i am my name is jimmy everyone calls me uncle jimmy i've been running my smma agency now for eight and a half years uh, and it's been supporting my family and my lifestyle for that time so it's nothing sexy um, just a lot of hard work and um, I'm also a coach over at Easy Grow, and I help SMMAs with their service delivery and help them deliver excellent services and keep clients forever. And that's actually the theme of what I want to talk about today. This is a very casual conversation just between you and I um, and just sharing a little bit of my thoughts and uh, theories on things um, while I walk to Muay Thai. So when I see a lot of these guys, uh, other people that are successful in this space, because no doubt, um, there are people in this space that have gotten the same outcome as me in a completely different way. You know, and, the, and their goals are different and what they want in life is different. Doesn't mean that it's less valuable than what I wanted to achieve in life and vice versa, but they just have a different approach to the same outcome. And I see a lot of these guys and I look at what they do and because their outcome is different and what they want to achieve is different, their execution is different to me. Right, so like I look at some of these guys and they're really big on the sales side and that's all they focus on is the sales, 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 sales. Um, but because they live a lifestyle that's maybe a little bit more, a little bit more inspirational as per se, that then becomes the norm of the space. So you remember, I've been doing this a long time and I've seen trends come and gone. Like when I first started doing SMMA and marketing, it was all about just providing as much value as possible because when you're generating, you had things like go high level, Everyone was just selling leads. And so what would be the point of difference between me selling you a lead and this other person selling you a lead? Well, it was the customer service and the support that went with that, which is, was actually the point of difference. Now, that evolved over time with the imp implementation of Go High Level and um, the tools to be able to do appointment setting at scale. Uh, because before things like Go High Level, it was actually really difficult to do appointment setting, so no one did it. Um, but then things like Go High Level popped up and it became easier and easier to do the appointment setting side for clients. And because of that, the narrative of the space evolved into that. And subsequently, the space has like evolved in and out into different phases. The same things applied, the same things has applied with the information that people are getting in the digital marketing space, in the SMMA space, right? So when I was, like I said, coming up, it was all about providing the best service possible. You win by really looking after clients and make sure they stay with you a long time because the sales process is hard because we're all selling the same thing. Then it's evolved over time to like really optimizing your sales process and putting as many people in through the top as possible uh, and accepting a certain level of churn. And while that's not a wrong approach, it's definitely an approach that doesn't sit well with a whole bunch of people, including myself. You know, a lot of us have gotten into the marketing space because we want to create a life for ourselves and it's not necessarily about creating millions of dollars and living in a penthouse in Dubai we just want to create a life um, that's an alternative to working a nine to five that pays me well um, that gives me freedom right that's what a lot of us want there's a portion of people out there that associate living in a penthouse in Dubai with Bugatti and stuff like that as freedom and to be fair 
I look at that and go, that's a pretty cool life. But there's a disproportionate amount of people that look at that and go, well, that's the only way you can succeed in this space. I'm gonna to have to follow the narrative of acquisition and just acquiring as many customers as possible and, uh, and, not, and not creating an agency that aligns with your own personal values and beliefs. And that's why a lot of my focus lately has been around telling people there's a different narrative, there's a different way to do things. I think the reason I've stayed in the space so long is because I've found a way of running my agency that aligns with me culturally and aligns with my values really well, which is deliver a bloody good service, make sure the clients are happy and keep them forever. And I get asked often like, what is your sales? Like, what do you, how do you acquire clients? And I'm like, well, most of my clients just come from referrals because when you do a good job for someone and you're looking after them, they tend to tell other people. And I feel like that narrative has been lost along the way somewhere. Maybe it just doesn't get the visibility because it's not as sexy as, you know, really selling big deals and balling out. But I, I think it's really just because the whole just getting really, really good at sales and selling people on the concept and um, focus on churn is just how a lot of guys now are running their SMMAs. And because of that, there's a lot of people in the space that think that alignment wise, it may work way better to run an agency by just being a good person and um, by just really focusing on service delivery, creating an amazing product and then um, make sure you, uh, you look after the customers so they stay with you forever. There's guys in this space that would are much better align with that and probably would get better results if they made that their primary focus and um, less about what the traditional narrative of this space is currently in. I wanna talk about this formula that I was telling you about. So I've been thinking about this a lot and it aligns basically with what I'm talking about here. So my formula for success and what's made me successful and gotten me to seven figures where I'm just living in that, I'm just an average guy living a, a life of being free and being able to do whatever I want. Um, not living in Dubai, it's not sexy or anything, but it's, it's a pretty cool life, you know? We travel around full time. Um, you know, we've been, as a family, we've been doing it 15 months and I get to spend a whole bunch of time with my kids, which is all some people want to be able to do, right? You may be young, but you may want to start a family in the future and maybe you're doing all of this work to set yourself up for the future. So this is my formula for success. My formula for success is to get really good at service delivery, earn your stripes through experience, and then focus on keeping customers forever. And then if you build that, they will come. So most of my clients that I get are actually just referrals. And I think I mentioned that before, but most of the clients I get are just actually referrals. And I used to get scared that I didn't have a really a strategy for acquiring clients that was really formal. Uh, until I realized that month in, month out, I'm getting the referrals regardless of whether it's a sustainable strategy or not. So that's my formula for success that I just want to put out in the world and fly the flag for is that actually you don't need to be super good at sales. You know, you need a, you need to get sales and you need to be able to sell. But this, the way you scale one of these things is by doing a really good job providing a huge amount of value that um, goes above and beyond everyone else, and then keeping your customers for life so that they have more opportunities to refer others to you. That's a narrative I wanna sell. That's a narrative I think that would align better with a lot of people that are in this space and they feel like a square peg in a round hole because you know this, the way they sell and the way they retain and the way they're just guaranteeing a whole bunch of crap feels icky and doesn't feel right. Um, so just a little bit going forward of this channel, it sort of made me do a little bit of a shift of the approach that I'm going to make into creating content. I'm still going to be creating the content on delivering service, but I'm going to be talking about sales strategies that align with this providing value, value narrative. My personal philosophy, and it's something that has uh, worked for me for a very long time, is I've never guaranteed anything. I've just let my confidence in my ability and my confidence and my process and mindset around running an agency will get them good results because I actually care. and. Um, you know, I want them to refer people. So it naturally causes me to try and get them the best results I can practically. Um, so you're gonna see a bit more content about that. You're gonna see a little bit more about scaling up this process of like, you know, keeping clients for life and providing a really good service and, um, you know, leaning on referrals, leaning on leveraging the relationships you've built to force multiply what you do. And then from there, 
Uh, you know, so, so that people out there can see that there's an alternative to just being really good at, you know, an alternative to hiring a sales team, appointment setting, uh, hiring a sales team, hiring setters, you know, ha having a plug and play system, it breaking, the client's not being happy and they leave you after a month. So that's all I wanted to talk about, guys. It's as you can see, it's raining here. So I'm uh, on my way to Muay Thai. I can't really hold my camera out in the rain. So I'm going to finish it here. But guys, if that aligns with you, make sure to subscribe and, and make sure to join my um, school group because that's what we're all talking about there. That's We're all about keeping clients for life there. And of course, I'll catch you in the next video.